And I came back muted. Great. Just great. I'm, I'm waiting on the cloud save to update. Oh, the game's updating. And it's saying 30 minutes. So the stream is done. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's Immortals of Avium trying to update something. Steam Cloud is still trying to update. No, it was Immortals of Avium that started because I wasn't playing a game. I'm, I'm just getting tired of this. I'm really tired of this. No, Immortals of Avium has a two gig patch, so. Oh, great, and this isn't showing up. So, this is fun. The game isn't showing up. I'm very tempted just to get up super early tomorrow before my hair appointment and just swap everything myself because now I'm just angry. Because I can't really be offline. And there's absolutely no point in bringing it up online because everyone gives me advice that means nothing. So I'm just gonna see where it left us and I'm gonna get a quick BRB while this is uh, loading.
Wait, I'm back all the way before... Am I seriously all the way back here? You mean to tell me not even a quick save happened, but... Well, time to go. I may actually just shut down and... <sighs> this is so irritating. Half the textures aren't even loading. <sighs> That's like where I want to go. Hi, DC. Y'all, I am so beyond annoyed. I lost almost an hour's progress. I'm hoping this loads faster. Okay, it did load. <sighs> All of these crashes, I honestly wonder if it is uh, affecting my video card. Set your worries at ease. You're in safe hands. Let's see if this is actually what we're supposed to do. I won't have a wife. You want past? Talk to Ellen. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. I'm not even in Worms Rock. Donation is what? Lord Gortash is becoming Archduke. All the peers came to pay regards. 
Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. That was easier than I thought. I really thought it was going to hit the creature. I was going to press my luck and try to steal from the... Halt! We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. Greetings, old friend. Orin told me you were on your way here, but I scarcely believed it. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Welcome home. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. I'm sorry, what? Make your way to the ceremonial hall. from Gortash. Please we shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. The door's not locked. Nothing's gonna happen to us. We'll tell them what happened. The people Oh, I'm glad I came in here. I don't know. Mistaken. All we can do Leo is be Trump. patient. Better. I almost believed you this time. Oh, that door's locked. Could have hired two dozen more fists for the cost of that thing. Oh, that's all theft. It's gonna happen to us. We'll tell them what happened. Lord Gordon is expecting you. Please make your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still here. What are they waiting for? Hold right there, bloody legs! I don't know, dear. My friend, me. I don't know. The round is behind. Hell, not this again. The fuck? The brain is resisting its orders. Ah! Without all three stones to control, I don't have will it with me. Done acting on its own will. If it isn't little Will's chums, I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father, the Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear, perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Oh. We're gonna go to camp. And get well. Who do I bring? Uh, Gale. Oh, but I might need Gale's AOE for... <sighs> Jahira, as much as I hate it, you might need...
Oh jeez, I am almost encumbered. Oh, that's right, it crashed because I didn't get to sell that. Great. Oh my god, why was the mic in it flesh so heavy? Holy shit, getting rid of the mic in it flesh dropped me almost 30 pounds. Jahira, you're gonna have to leave camp for a while. The Duchess. Yes? You're sure? I'm sure. Oh, back and forth. You like to make me dizzy. Speak. Uh... You're sure? Oh, back and forth. You like to make me dizzy. Speak. Am I stuck in a loop? There might be, but... It's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. You're sure? Later, then. I need Will for this. Oh, Will has an exclamation anyway, so... Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut Fuck. the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, We'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. 
Maybe Stelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. That's the spirit. Oh, you're only coming because Mazora said to bring you. Don't get excited, Will. speak with the dead. having a moment of I must organize everything I need to stop carrying around this infernal iron the watch I I need it Why do you have all of this? Whereas it's 11, I should log out soon. I'm only doing this so I can have Will talk to Mazora. I need to stop soon because, hey, work. But my boss 
is apparently out sick. So I don't know if our meetings... Please make your way to the what? audience chamber. Every duke's just the same as the last, sticking up for each other as the sky falls around us. Gods, it must be exhausting to Will be actually happen. And I'm into hit escape to save now that we're here. Because I want Will to talk to Mazora. The pride of the gate. A word, if I may. Go on up. Pay Gortash a visit. A fate to remember. I guarantee. Mm. I've got a long road ahead. I don't want to talk to Gortash yet, but I guess we are. Oh. Are we... Gortash! Are we seriously just walking up here? The pride of the gate. Keep in pace. I guess we are. Father. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. Wow. The Steel Watch appreciate your cooperation, citizen. Dearest patriarchs, but a moment. The Blade of Frontiers graces our halls. Wearing his devilish best. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs. For the good of the people, I'm sure you understand. Wow. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. You Ponzi gear. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. Why is you know, everyone so filthy? All three to control the brain. Without thorns, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The mind flayer empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proves treacherous. She wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three Netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact. 
a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So Ooh. the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well... He can hear you, Astarian. Then. Oh, yes. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Your father will do whatever you command him to, like any other subject in our kingdom. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I, I don't know. I Zero Kethrick would know, but I think he's already left to go to do stuff. To create the absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Can I? Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I must the be truth. a shapeshifter. Well, it could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. <laughs> the faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly, or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short lived. <gasps> Who could it be? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Orin became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers. When she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Orin is elusive, shall we say. The grip of the steel watch may be tight. Be right back. Sand still slips through its fingers. And some conflicts are best resolved quietly. The people are cattle, obedient until panicked.
I'm back. Sorry about that. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killing. He just really has given up the whole plan. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. More importantly, just. Now, come, be witness as your father names me the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. <sighs> you will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard. What the fuck? Oh. I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. He's gonna cut his head off. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. So we're going to save. Oh, should I object? The young Raven Guard is with the Absolute. He means to <gasps> disrupt this council. No! Watchers to arms. The War of the Absolute. Has well, begun. that's not what I wanted. Well. Oh no, we're not. No, absolutely not. Nope. We're loading. Nope. So objecting starts the fight. I'm not ready for that fight with all of those Warforged. Um. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without I swear swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word deed and decree so that none may suffer I swear gather guests grant ye consent
Render scale is 100%. Wow. Wow, wow. Enver Gortash. The council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Wow. Well, that certainly happened. Let's move. Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Please. We need to speak with him. Maybe, maybe he can see reason. Best be on my way. Sharp as ever. My GPU is at 84 C. Sure, why not? Any who dares speak ill. Your father. Once the Grand Duke, now a pawn in the Absolute's game. Your infected minds smolder in each other's presence. My dearest boy, the Hells have touched you. But you've come to me, just as Gortash said you would. Father and son, unstoppable generals. Together, we will usher in a new dawn. What is a hero, my son, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Who's... Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. You, Gortash, and I will ignite the final spark, my son. And that is the greatest of goods. Oh, father. Help me. Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. Why do I get the feeling the punishment will be far, far worse than the crime? Jesus, I only need a two. Wow, I just got a two. Within Ravenguard's memories, you find Counselor Floric. She is confined in a cell right here in Worms. The sun rises, my boy. My true soul. Are you ready? For a brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. Help me. Your tadpole seizes. The prism stills. Raven Guard's empty eyes meet yours. Shit. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend. Tyrell's first and only grand city. <sighs> first comes a vision of terror. The city of Baldur's Gate taken by Lithids, but beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming Raven Guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. 
a people at peace. Raven God hasn't given up yet. His true self is still in there and could yet be saved. Have we finished then? As well that ends. Not as bad as it could And if the Steel Watch can't protect us, what then? The flaming fist stand ready. Quickly. Moving in. Your parasite binds your mind to Will's. Your memories of talking with Ravenguard become his. You spoke with my father. Incredible. To hear his voice speak those words. You spoke. Like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. All right, let's go talk to Mazora, and then we're going to call it because I should log into work. Sure, why not? What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention, little pup. Nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp. If you want to work something out. Oh my god, woman. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait long for answers. Let's make camp when we're able. Mazora will be waiting. Until then, may my father keep safe. Whatever coop he's been flown I to. just talked to him. I literally just talked to him. Don't waste the step. City fell under Gortash's charms without him casting nary a spell. Well, most people are idiots, Will. You can lure them into a dragon's moor. The people aren't stupid, Stark. They're scared. Gortash provoked a damned war and then promised them safety. Safety, sweets, it's the same principle. I just want to log into my bank account.
Well, that didn't work. Uh, chat, y'all still there? No one's talked in like almost an hour. I said we're gonna we're gonna go to camp, but I think I'm not because that feels like it's gonna be a lot of exposition. Oh, oh, let's get to Basilisk Gate. So we can. Mistra has a shrine within the city, located in the Stormshore Tabernacle. Do whatever you need to. But I shall be paying my respects to any of the gods on show. That felt great. Oh. You never felt the call of the divine, Star. Oh, I tried to watch it. Divine protectors of Baldur's Gate. Hear this humble. Mistress likeness. Shield our people. And sometimes since I stood before her in a place like I this. miss the Basilisk Gate. Ah, there we go. Hey, Jay. You have arrived in time for me to also uh, be ready to log out. Oh my God, there's so much to do here. <sighs> Casador's Palace. Oh, there's so much to do here. What do we do? You arrived in time for me to basically be ready to log out because I'm about a half hour late logging into work. But there's not much going on because everyone's sick. I don't know if we're even having our two scheduled meetings today. So. How's the new computer though? Yeah, two of our direct senior leadership got sick while traveling. So I don't know if we're still even having what these meetings we're supposed to today. One's at 12.30 my time. And one is four my time, so. But what we're gonna do is go see what Panda's up to. She's playing Skull and Bones. It looks like the beta, the closed beta is streamable. Oh, are you gonna stream or just play around with it? Nice. But yeah, I'm a little late logging into work actually. So I'm gonna go see what's going on with work. You all have a good day. And if I stream this evening after a meeting I've got, I will tweet out. Um, but yeah, let's go see what Panda's doing, Skull and Bones, and I will see you all later. Sorry, Flower Crown, but hang out. We're going to see what Panda's up to. Talk to you all soon.